Hey everyone, we are here in Carroll Gardens, Brooklyn, and it has been a while since we've been in this neighborhood. Last time we were here, we were actually working on our parlor floor renovation called Carroll Gardens Parlor. But today we are full circle. We are starting a new project that we are calling Carroll Jardin. So we're calling it Carol Jardin because it's gonna have a lot of Parisian and French inspiration in the design. So we'll give you more information on that in just a little while. But today is demo kickoff day. Super fun, we can't wait to get in there and we're gonna show you around. So here we are at our latest renovation project and we wanna take you inside and kind of update you where we're at with this project. So here we are in the parlor floor. So this is the main epicenter of the living space of the house and it's got the tallest ceiling. So it's gonna be a really beautiful living and kitchen space. And you can see that a lot of the demo has been done. So this project has been going for about two weeks now and we're saving as much of the original character of the house that we can, but this is gonna be a pretty modern townhouse. Yeah, I love our clients. Their names are Hagar and Ziv. They recently moved to New York from San Francisco and they have a really beautiful design aesthetic, but they're really inspired by that Parisian design, which we're so excited for because we've really never done a Parisian style brownstone. Brownstones are usually long and narrow spaces, or they are long and narrow spaces. This one's very special because it's one of the smaller brownstones that we've worked on. Usually brownstones are 20 by 40, and this is 16 by 40. Half of that space, a really small space, but really excited because of that design aesthetic. I think it's just gonna be able to feature a lot. So let's give you a lay of the land. So we're standing here in what is going to be the living room right off of the, the front door. And then you're gonna have the staircase that goes up to the top floor where the bedrooms will be. And this wall is gonna be opened up. So when you're here in the living room, you're gonna be able to see the staircase. It's gonna be a really nice view. Yeah, and then this is gonna be the main kitchen area, which we're really excited for this beautiful open space. We're gonna do two French windows over here with the French uh, opening doors. Can't wait to see how that looks like. And if you look down, you can see that we've already started planning this kitchen out because it's a little dusty from the demo, but you can see where the island was taped down. So we're gonna have a huge island here and the rest of the kitchen is gonna be along this wall. And guess what is behind this wood box right here? This is an original marble Fireplace. Oh, I just noticed that our super saved some original newspaper. Let's see the date on this. It's 1987, so it's not that Too old. <laughs> Usually we're finding things from like the early 1900s, but the 80s are cool. So you're on board. <laughs> this was the smallest powder room in the world prior to demo. So happy it's gone because that thing was literally the size. It was so small. You couldn't even like close the door. Your shoulders would hit both walls. I have no idea how they used it. But so they're going to use the downstairs brownstones. This one is three stories. So the first floor, which we call the garden floor, is going to be used as their library and their den. It's going to be a really moody vibe down there. So let's head down there and check it out. So lots of demo still happening. Oh, and outside there is a sunroom, which we're getting rid of just to allow for more light, but it's really great to see this backyard in Brooklyn. So now I'm up on the top floor and you can see on the garden floor and the parlor floor, everything is going very smoothly, but up here we have a really strange situation going on with the roof. We're here with Ryan, who is on our team. He okay. is assisting on this project, Barry, but this is the true mystery to this top floor. And do you guys want to tell us what's going on? It's a, it's a real mess. Um, <laughs> so usually in a brownstone, if you look over here in the new master bedroom, you can see that the original joists run laterally from one party wall to the other. Uh, but here, for a reason unknown to us, somebody has decided to go in and replace all the original joists with new ones running in the opposite direction. Not only that, here, where there used to be a second floor kitchen, 
this soffit has been incorporated, which is full of random bits of wood. And it's like really hefty. Look at the steel, like, up there. It's just a mystery. And we don't even know what's structural, because you see all these giant bolts going through here. Some of them are just going through a piece of plywood. Yeah. And some of them are going in structural members, so. So lots of mysteries. It always <laughs> happens during a demo. We find crazy things that you weren't expecting. And if you know, if anyone is familiar with brownstones, you know how strange this is. Mm -hmm. That they ran the joist the other way. And so we have a little bit of work to do to, to take this apart a little bit and figure out exactly what's going on here because it might affect some of our design. Yeah. But hey, it wouldn't be a renovation without surprises. <laughs>